Hello! In today's video, we'll be showing and discussing the value of Parquet files for AI training data. The Parquet file format is very well known and popular and is particularly well suited to AI, machine learning, and data analytics. For example, we might have a data set ready for use in fine tuning AI models. This format is then your one-stop solution for effortless loading, particularly when utilizing popular machine learning and data analytics frameworks like Hugging Face, Spark, or Hadoop. Here's what makes the Parquet file format great. Number one, it's great for data compression and storage. How, you ask? Parquet leverages the power of columnar storage, that is, storing data column by column instead of row by row, making compression and coding a breeze. Number two, loading large data sets into memory, a regular task in AI, is faster with Parquet, enhancing the overall performance. Scaling your data processing or storage doesn't have to break the bank with Parquet's efficient compression and storage mechanisms. Want to introduce new columns to your data set while keeping the old ones intact? Parquet's schema evolution feature has got you covered. And the best part? It's compatibility galore with Parquet, working seamlessly with many machine learning libraries, as well as more general data analytics frameworks like Hadoop and Spark. Plus, it supports complex data types, facilitating sophisticated data modeling. Last, but certainly not least, Parquet is tweaked for peak query performance, hence enabling highly efficient queries when paired with data analysis tools. Let's now create some Parquet files for ourselves. To do that, you must have Pandas and Pyero installed. We'll even demonstrate how to compile these using a sample fine-tuning data set meant for story summarization. For example, we might have separate columns for the story text and a summarization of that story. We're then ready to load these stories and summaries into a pandas data frame. And with the two parquet method, storing these files will be as easy as pie. Let's now walk through this code. You must have transformers installed in addition to the previously mentioned pandas and pi arrow. And there you go. We now have our token counts for different stories and summaries all loaded into several Parquet files. You'll be amazed by how this Parquet format compresses 300 kilobytes of data down by 68%. Now let's get to the fun part, loading the data for use in our AI training. For example, to utilize this in, say, Hugging Face datasets, all it takes is a few lines of code specifying our Parquet files and using the load dataset function from the Hugging Face datasets library. Now, 
if you're aiming for LLM fine tuning and need a single text field, we'll just want to fuse our datasets using concatenate with the help of dataset map. With this, we'll have our instruction, story, and summary all in one big text column. It looks like we have a little hiccup with that combination step, so let's fix that. Instead of concatenation, which isn't really working, we'll simply combine the text all in one step here. And there we go. Now this final data set here is something that we can plug right into. For example, fine tuning libraries from Hugging Face. As usual, we'll share all the code as well as this diagram file in the video description. Please enjoy it responsibly.